This time I'd like to call the Town of Batavia regular town board meeting to uh, order. Uh, at this time I'd like to rise and pledge allegiance to the flag. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Roll call, please. Post. Here. White. Got to unmute herself. Here. Underhill. Here. Michael Eck. Here. Zambito. Here. Would someone move to accept the minutes of the June seventeenth, twenty twenty regular town board meeting? Dan Underhill. Ian Underhill, so move. Chad second. Chad Zambito second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Katie, you at the meeting? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Michael Ack? Yes. Post? Yes. Someone moved to accept the minutes of the June 30th special town board meeting. Chad Zambito moves. Chad Zambito moves. Second. Patty Michael X seconds. Second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Zambito? Yes. Michael Eck? Yes. White? Yes. Underhill? Underhill? Yes. Post? Yes. Are there any speakers this evening that wish to address the town board with any business? Did anybody see any speakers? If not, I'll move to resolutions. Sharon, resolution number 116, please. Professional services, refunding, bonds, underwriter, Roosevelt and Cross Incorporated. Whereas on March 18, 2020, the town board adopted a refunding bond resolution authorizing the issuance of refunding bonds to be offered and sold at private sale on arrangements that are to be in general accord with the refunding financial plan and where the town solicited RFPs with the assistance of the town's municipal advisor for an underwriter to market the town's refunding bonds and whereas two proposals were received and reviewed whereas Municipal Solutions recommended Roosevelt and Cross Incorporated recommendation letter attached. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Town of Batavia Town Board hereby accepts Roosevelt and Cross Incorporated proposal as underwriter for the refunding bond transactions. So moved. Second. Dan Underhill second. In Underhill second. Discussion. Roll call, please. White? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael Eck? Yes. Zambito? Yes. Post? Yes. 
Uh, Dan, resolution 117. Training workshop. Resolve the Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes the following personnel to attend the training workshop. Marcy Crandall, water well, rehabilitation maintenance assessment management, Andrew Young, CE online class five trainings, code of ethics, fair housing agency, home inspections and house construction was February 27th, March 4th. So You're moved. breaking up. Did I break up? You yep, you did. Uh, resolution 117 training workshop resolved the Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes the following personnel to attend uh, workshop. As written, so moved. Darn internet, don't pay enough. <laughs> Karen White. Karen White, second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Underhill? Yes. White? Yes. Michael Eck? Yes. Lambito? Yes. Post? Yes. Resolution number 118, non-hazardous waste service agreement trash and recycling with Waste Management of New York, LLC. Whereas the town highway superintendent solicited for oral quotes for non-hazardous waste removal for the town's trash and recycling. And whereas waste management of New York LLC submitted a quote agreement of $133.96 per month for three years for weekly pickups and an initial one-time delivery fee of $115. And whereas the highway superintendent recommends the town enter into said agreement recommendation attached now therefore be it resolved. The Batavia Town Board hereby authorizes the agreement between the Town of Batavia and Waste Management of New York LLC for non-hazardous waste removal at a cost of $133.96 per month <clears throat> for weekly pickups plus a one-time delivery fee of $115, a copy of which is annexed hereto and made a part of these minutes and be it further resolved, the supervisor is hereby authorized to execute said agreement so moved. Dan Underhill. Dan Underhill second. Is there discussion? Roll call, please. Post? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Michael Eck? Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Patty Resolution 119, please. Acquire interest and parcel of land for water utility service. Whereas the town of Batavia is seeking to acquire interest in a parcel of land from Deepak Rathod for the purpose of installing, constructing, operating, repairing, and maintaining meter pit and water service along Hopkins Road. And whereas a permanent easement for a portion of parcel number 10-2-60.12 has been prepared and executed by Deepak G. Rathod at a cost of $10. And whereas town engineers reviewed the permanent easement for the interest in the parcel and recommends the town board approve said easement. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Batavia Town Board hereby approves the permanent easement from Depak Rathar for, for a portion of parcel 10 260.2 at a cost of $10 a copy, of which is annexed here to and made a part of the minutes. And be it further resolved that the town supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to sign all document necessary to record the documents in Genesee County Clerk's Office. So moved. Dan Underhill second. Dan Underhill second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Michael Eck? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? <clears throat> yes. Post? Yes. Chad, resolution number 120. Purchase of VM Wear Essential Kit, whereas the town of Batavia was awarded the Local Government Records Management Improvement Fund, LGRMIF grant for shared service document conversion and access. And whereas an amendment to the LGRMIF shared services grant budget was requested and approved by New York State for VM Wear Essential Kit, less a subscription cost. And whereas Dell EMC submitted a quote to purchase VM Wear Essential Kit. Three hosts and subscription cost of 
$522.61 attached. Now, therefore, be it resolved, the Tabor Town Board hereby authorizes the purchase of VMware Essential Kit for three hosts and VMware subscription from Dell at a cost of $523.61. Be it further resolved, expenditures will be from line item A1460-200, 459, A1410.401, $63.61. So, Is there a second? Sharon White. Sharon White, second. Any discussion? Roll call, please. Sandito? Yes. White? Yes. Michael Eck? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Oops. Yes. I'm sharing resolution number 121. Resolution to introduce proposed local law number two of 2020 and to schedule a public hearing. Whereas the town board of the town of Batavia <coughs> desires to consider adopting legislation to enact local law two of 2020 discrimination and harassment policy and we local law two of 2019 sexual harassment policy by the town of Batavia, also known as a local law to adopt a discrimination and harassment policy for the town of Batavia. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the town by the town board of the town of Batavia, New York, that proposed local law number two of 2020, entitled a local law to adopt a, a discrimination and harassment policy for the town of Batavia, which proposed local law is now in its final form, as appears by a copy thereof hereto attached, be the same hereby is introduced for adoption. And be it further resolved that said proposed local law be laid upon the desks of the members of, the, of this town board on this date and remain there and a copy thereof be kept on file in the office of the town clerk until August 19th, 2020, and then a public hearing be held before this town board on the 19th day of 2020 at 7 o'clock p.m. at the Batavia Town Hall, 3833 West Main Street Road, Batavia, New York, on the advisability of enacting said proposed local law. And be it further resolved that a copy of said proposed local law be mailed to each member of the town board not in attendance at this meeting in a postpaid, properly addressed, and securely closed envelope in a post box within the town of Batavia, New York, not less than 10 calendar days, exclusive of Sunday prior to the date of said public hearing. And be it further resolved that the town clerk shall cause notice of said public hearing to be published once in the daily news at least five days prior to the date of said public hearing, which notice shall contain the time and place of said hearing, the title and purpose thereof, as well as a statement that a copy of said proposed local law is on file in the town clerk's office. So moved. There is a second. Patty Michael Act. Second. Discussion. Roll call, please. White. Yes. Michael Act. Yes. Mbito. Yes. Underhill. Yes. Post. Yes. Is there a motion mm -hmm. to suspend the rules? Dean Underhill makes a motion to suspend the rules. Is there a second? Second. Ted Zambito. Ted Zambito, second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Underhill. Yes. Zambito. Yes. White. Yes. Michael Ack. Yes. Post. Yes. Resolution 122, Ben. 
Resolution authorized community service project, Batavia Town Park, Boy Scouts Troop 6006. Whereas Nicholas Grover of Boy Scout Troop 6006 submitted an application to complete a community service project at the Batavia Town Park. Mm -hmm. And whereas Mr. Grover is proposing to clear a hiking trail in the area identified the Batavia Town Park master plan and repair a broken bench for his Eagle Scout project. And whereas all supplies and materials will be provided by Mr. Grover and or Boy Scout Troop. Boy Scout Troop 6006, and whereas the town engineer recommends his approval of this proposed project, recommended and proposal attached, now therefore be resolved, the Cape Town Board hereby approves Nicholas Grover's Boy Scout Project 6006 proposal to clear a hiking trail and repair a broken bench for community service project at the Cape Town Park on Galloway Road. So moved. Second, Chad Zambito. Chad Zambito, second. Discussion. Roll call, please. Underhill. Yes. Zambito. Yes. White. Yes. Michael Eck. Yes. Post. Yes. Includes our resolutions this evening. Would someone move to pay the abstract? So moved. Patty? Oh, yes, so moved. moved. Patty. Second by Chad. Second, Chad Zambito. A discussion. Roll call, please. I clack. Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Underhill? Yes. Post? Yes. Thank you. This evening under department reports, uh, Bruce, have you got anything to report from the building department? Unmute. There we go. Uh, nothing uh, specific. I just tuned in uh, tonight to uh, stay in contact and uh, see what's going on uh, with folks I don't get to interact with these days, but uh, we're uh, really busy. I can tell you that much. I'll be back in the office uh, tomorrow and Friday, uh, but things uh, are steadily picking up and uh, everything's good on my end. Got anything for me? No, just thank you and your associates. I know it's been uh, extremely busy in your department uh, with the inspections and uh, a lot of home improvement projects, as well as uh, construction and, and upcoming uh, uh, large projects. I know everybody's been busy and I wanted to thank you. Uh, and and I, I understand you're gonna be taking some training time soon to learn the new records management system. We had a report from Dan Lang this morning that that's working out very well and is going to be even more seamless. Um, so thank you for your attendance in that and uh, appreciate your uh, your efforts. You're welcome. Uh, thank you. Kathy Jasinski, have anything uh, new on the planning side? You have to unmute. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. I'm here because I, I missed you all. So I decided to come to the meeting and uh, we had a meet, we had a planning board meeting via Zoom last Tuesday. It worked very well. We took care of all of our pending business. And unfortunately, there's no applications filed. We don't have anything to be meeting with for um, in the close future. Uh, Bruce said things are looking up. So hopefully we'll be busy again too. I'm encouraging the members to train online so we don't get behind on that. And um, I thank the members that came to our meeting last week. It's nice, nice to have people interested. Thank you. Welcome. You're most welcome. Thank you. As far as uh, the water department goes, I can testify that they have been working pretty much uh, 12 hour days in many cases, seven days a week to uh, attend to the uh, record demand on the 
county and town water system. Uh, we have been selling water in unprecedented amounts that have taxed the resources and we're now pulling water from Monroe County, Erie County, as well as the city of Batavia's plant. And uh, there have been a few times when uh, it's been very close to not having enough water. We had an incidental pressure drop for an hour on one segment of Galloway Road, but uh, since then we have uh, installed a booster pump um, and 800 feet of eight inch water main on Powers Road. And through shared services with the New York State Thruway today, secured that with Jersey barriers to prevent any uh, expansion contraction issues that may interrupt that flow. So we're still maintaining um, pressure flow to everywhere in the town with an especially uh, priority on, on any unnecessary use of water or any unanticipated use of water for firefighting purposes, we'll need to have people on uh, involved with that to operate valves um, for the interim period um, until we get um, additional flow from the east, uh, which the county is working on. Uh, so that's been keeping everybody busy. They did a water service crossing on Hartshorn Road today that was an open cut on the road to get a service to a new customer. And they continue to um, upgrade the two pump station projects and are working every day with the contractors and the electricians and uh, replacing and upgrading all of those things under the COVID-19 uh, necessities. Um, highway department has been actively engaged in finishing Ellicott the trail. They've completed all of their paving uh, for the most part. Um, it's been an extraordinary effort by those three gentlemen that uh, served Tom in the highway department as well as Tom putting in Yeoman's hours um, pretty much seven days a week in, in maintaining uh, everyone's uh, energies and in, in, uh, completing all of these tasks on uh, some pretty serious deadlines. So again, uh, my thanks to everyone in the highway department. Uh, I have um, assurances from the engineers that nobody's getting any rest in the engineering department. We continue to review plans uh, as additional projects come through um, and, and, and more projects that are uh, being proposed and we'll be discussing at a future meeting uh, as they come in and uh, get some of these issues ironed out. But a couple of very significant projects uh, soon to be um, announced, I would hope. Um, and on a, on a good note, I just wanted to inform everyone that uh, here's a Ways and Means Committee. This, this uh, past meeting has adopted a uh, uh, somewhat of a proposal to distribute some revenue sharing to all the communities. Uh, the amounts are listed in the paper. Um, and we did receive our uh, discounted uh, money from the uh, video Lottery kernels. So our BLT money did come through in the reduced amount, and it's looking like we're going to have uh, uh, revenue sharing uh, proposed to the full county legislature at our next meeting. And so it goes. Um, things continue to operate at uh, full speed. We've had no reduction, and we will continue to be operating the town hall uh, uh, remotely and uh, transact all the business in, uh, that needs to be conducted through the drive up window. I know the courts are opening on a limited basis and that will continue uh, as they get new direction um, from the state on their on their uh, uh, email train. So that is another rapidly changing and uh, frequently changing, um, includes several <laughs> times a week changing uh, metric for them to address and incorporate. So um, that's pretty much what I have for the other departments. I would, uh, for the supervisor report, uh, just state that the expenditures and revenue sheets are available for your review. I will be renewing a, the state of emergency declaration tomorrow uh, at, at uh, 6 p.m. on July 16th to be in compliance with the FEMA and the state and federal uh, requirements to maintain uh, cash flow um, so that reimbursements will be uh, seamless uh, for the additional costs and expenses we've accrued through this episode uh, and to keep everyone, uh, continue to keep everyone healthy. Um, that concludes my report with the uh, 
final edition um, today. Um, Chad uh, oh, provided me with a uh, certificate of merit from the assembly of the state of New York in recognition of the achievement of the grand opening of the Ellicott Trail. And that was fomented by Assemblyman Steve Hawley. And uh, I appreciate everyone's attendance in constructing this project over the last four and a half years. It has been one of the largest boondoggles administratively that we've ever undertaken, but I think it's one of the showcase constructs um, and very visible and well received. And I just want to compliment each and every one of you for your attendance, your perseverance, and uh, the extra time it's taken out of your lives to see this thing through, both from the town board as well as administrative and construction staff from all agencies involved. I would say there's probably been a hundred persons involved in the design, development, construction, and administration of this thing. And it's a great example of what communities can do working together in spite of COVID, in spite of uh, setbacks, in spite of uh, funding issues, um, this thing has been uh, legitimately and uh, overwhelmingly successful. So thank all of you for that. That concludes my report this evening. Um, clerk, do you have any business? Do. Uh, our June town clerk re monthly report we collected 5,762.50, remitted 5,282.36 to the supervisor for the local share. Um, from the New York State Ag and Market, um, dog control officer report, inspection report, which was satisfactory and the municipal shelter inspection report as well for um, the animal shelter and that was all satisfactory. Received a liquor license application from AV1 Food System Incorporated. I believe it's for catering. It's a catering facility that's going to be within the college um, for a liquor license and that was a 30 day notice. Um, working on that shared services grant, trying to get the, um, for our records management, trying to get that wrapped up with our agreements. And we had a meeting this morning and that's still moving forward. Most of the project is complete. Um, so that's winding down, but a lot of paperwork yet to take care of. I want to thank you, Teresa, for uh, managing that. It's uh, it's just another um, sometimes underappreciated effort to have a, a few extra hundred thousand dollars thrown in your lap to administer perfectly to every letter of every regulatory agency in the world overseeing and managing that with three other communities involved. It's uh, been extraordinary, uh, and I do appreciate all your effort in that. And, as, uh, as I understand from Dan Lang, uh, we're looking at probably just in the short period of time that he's been utilizing this, he's anticipating about a one full work day a week reduction in time spent compared to the old methodology. So we're looking at probably over the, over the course of the life of this particular uh, format, um, seeing a 25% savings in labor and administration costs to, you know, respond to FOILs and to get information out to our our clients, our customers, and uh, and uh, associates of business. So it's a great investment. I think the, the fact that you were able to get the grant and uh, finance that and get this thing done at a minimal cost and to share that with a couple of other communities is uh, going to pay enormous dividends. And I suspect other communities will want to jump on board and, uh, and become part of this. So good job for you. Uh, and thank you so much. Thank you. Well, Sharon, I guess we know what time it is. Yes, is we any, do. Is there any old business, Sharon? There's no old business. <laughs> Dad, you got any new young business? You know, I got to tell you, I'm looking at myself in the screen. I'm not sure if I should resign from the young business thing. I got some grades <laughs> working pretty good here. But no, no new business. I'll, I'll trade you. <laughs> I feel like I could trade you. <laughs> 
<laughs> Look, you got you got five Q-tips and one good-looking, dark-haired young man sitting there, grimly staring at the screen, Eddie, trying, not to, he's trying a not to make any funny faces while we're, we're in this meeting. Dan, congratulations. Oh. Yeah, Dan. He's about four years older than I am. It's awesome. <laughs> no stress, no worries. Nope. <laughs> right. A <laughs> couple more years, he'll have hair just like the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> that concludes our business i, I want to thank each and every one of you if someone make a move to adjourn um we can all get back to life uh, dan <laughs> underhill <laughs> moves to adjourn and underhill i move to adjourn i believe chad zambito is a close second with that yeah zambito second any discussion on that roll call please underhill Yes. Zambito? Yes. White? Yes. Michael Act? Yes. Post? Yes. And again, thank all of you for your efforts over the past couple of months. It's, uh, it's been a trying experience, but I, uh, I do seriously appreciate how much time and energy you're putting into your job. So thank you all again, and uh, we'll be in touch soon. Thank you, Greg. Okay. Yep. Thank, thank you, Greg. Thank you. Greg.